If you love simplicity when it comes to mealtime, you're going to love this recipe. This is a kale pesto pasta. It's so easy and it's so delicious. And obviously the star of this dish is kale. And I'm using curly kale today. You can see how curly the ends of the leaves are. And the other kind of kale you'll see in the grocery stores is the lacinato or the flat leaf kale. For this, use the curly kale. It works just great. And you can see that right through the center is this thick stem. That rib goes all the way to to the top. We just want the leaves. So just pull the curly leaves right off of the stem. And if you have anyone in your family who's a little kale challenged, they'll never know they're eating kale in this recipe. That's what's wonderful about it. So I've got my kale prepped. You'll need about four cups of chopped curly kale. Put that into your food processor. And then I'm going to add half cup of raw cashews. You're really going to be doing your body good with this recipe. And then I'm going to add three cloves of minced garlic. And you know, I always use chubby garlic, so be generous with the garlic. And then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of sea salt and a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. And you'll find when you squeeze a fresh lemon, you usually get about two tablespoons. So this is the juice from one whole lemon. Then I'm going to put the top of my food processor on. And every food processor has this food uh, feed tube. And if you haven't noticed, there's a little hole right in the bottom. So first, I'm going to pulse this a little bit, get it chopped up, and then I'm going to pour my olive oil right into this tube. And it will gradually dribble in. And it will really come together nicely. And while I was making this pesto, I had about 12 ounces of linguine cooking. And I'm going to put the linguine right over the pesto. There we go. And you can mix this up right in your pasta bowl. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? I like to add lots of fresh ground black pepper. And just because I like a little heat, a little pinch of red pepper flakes over the top. And there you have a wonderful pasta dish. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for Good Life 365.